guys, this is Sean again. Uh, we are gonna work on today at HP uh, Pavilion. Um, it's um, 400 um, G3, I think. Yeah. So we're, that's what we're gonna work on today. Let me show you what it got. We're gonna install SSD hard drive. It's uh, pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna go step by step how to do it. And um, so, so, bear with me. All right. All right, we're all set. I'm gonna start the computer. On HP, you gotta press F10 to go to the BIOS and see what it got. So you go to the system and this uh, is HP Pro Desk 400 G2.5 SFF. I think that's the smallest version. Uh, Intel i5 5990S CPU 3.0 and it has 4 GB RAM and that's uh, and doesn't have the hard drive. So what we're gonna do is turn it off and uh, put the camera down here and I'm gonna step by step show you what to do and how to do it make sure first thing first you gotta take the power out and then open the side panel and this is a little tricky so what you're gonna do is first thing is take the front panel out you gotta be very careful it has a plastic and step by step you first one and second one and the third one all right panel is out put the panel on the side next thing is you have to take the uh, CD-ROM out it's right here next thing is this green button right here you press it down and pull it out okay so now we need to put SSD hard drive in it. So I found SSD um, 120. So that's what we're gonna put it on there. And uh, there it is. And then you use a couple of screw down there. Not two screws will be fine. But if you like, you can put four screw but two screw will be fine it's very light so there we go Let's see what I'm doing this is just screwing I can't show you exactly how to screw you should know that when how so screw that and let's screw other screw goes to the other side to make sure it's gonna hold up Let's put it in here. And this one second. I got a smaller screwdriver. All right, it's all screwed in. Now let's go back to the computer. All right, we're right here. Uh, this is the RAM, CPU fan, and an extra extra. So you put that in, and these two are one, the SATA cable, data cable, goes into the small one, and the large black, um, will go into the that's the power for this for the hard drive so you plug that in you plug those two in together and you sell that in slot set it up set it right okay
Okay, set it up now. We need to put CD-ROM back. So we slide that in and make sure it's plugged in to the SATA and the other power, 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 power one right here, right next to it. Okay, set this up. Now we need to put the frame first. There you go. Frame is gotta be careful. This frames are all right. That's in. Now we're gonna put the side panel. Slide it in. We'll screw in the back. And now we're gonna plug in the power. Power, 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 power. All right, power plugged in. Now, I'm gonna move the camera. All right, now uh, what we're gonna do is turn the power on. And uh, first we're gonna see uh, if the hard drive is there, so keep pressing F10. All right, and now go to the system and look for the hard drive. You see the uh, 120, go to the storage and it's SATA 120 GB SSD. So next thing is that the USB. Uh, I have um, Windows 10 installed already, already in the uh, USB. So we're gonna plug it in and uh, Alright, plugged it in. Now we gotta exit it out. Save changes and press yes. For HP, you gotta press F9. Keep pressing F9, it will give you a boot menu. Then you click on USB hard drive. Um, no, not that one. USB, USB. For legacy. That's the one, yeah. So USB, hard drive, you click that. It's gonna take a few minutes. It's working, so. It's taking its time, I guess. still going all right here it is the main screen you gotta press um, next install window DLA 64 next accept next because it's a new install, if it's an old install, then you click this and go upgrade, but it's a new install. And it has some old stuff, so I'm gonna delete that. So, it's um, it's ready, press next. And uh, it will take about um, 15 minutes, I think. It'll be less than 15 minutes. So, let me uh, get back to you uh, when, it start, uh, when it's almost finished. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, uh, so we got to the uh, window. Now, uh, pick up your region, United States, uh, keyboard, layout, US, you can pick any you want. Uh, keyboard, second keyboard layout, whatever you like, you can add it in there, skip that. So, as uh, it does not have the internet, so I just put it in. So, go back and uh, you pick up the internet. Type in the internet password. Press next. All right, we have 
connected. Press next. It's going to ask a few more questions and uh, uh, then it's going to go back to loading and then it will be at the main screen. So let me show you how, how we, when we get there. Um, all right, uh, this is for personal use or organizations or school or if there's if you're using for a school or any other purpose, you go set up for as an organization, but this is for personal. You click that, go next. Uh, I'd rather uh, put it in an offline account. Otherwise, if you have a Hotmail or um, Outlook, you put in that in information here. But I go offline and uh, I pick, pick a limited experience, it will be quicker. Uh, pick the name of the computer, so I pick as an X. Password, your choice, if you wanna put in a password. Press next. This is the privacy uh, setting for each computer. So the location, diagno uh, diagnostic data, and all that information. So if you wanted to, your computer location turned off, you just click that. We turn off otherwise I rather just leave everything on and press next the last question is gonna ask about Cartina uh, help um, people like it if you don't press not now if you do press yes and it will take you to the main screen um, so we're gonna wait about about a minute and a half and you will see we'll get there and then the last thing uh, I'm going to show you what to do is the updates. As you know, the Windows 10 um, is uh, updating every other week, I think it looks like it. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to get updated um, when you install a new uh, Windows 10. So it's going to take about a minute uh, to finish this up and then... Uh, we will show you how to do it. So, almost there. So, if you guys wanted to um, have a computer that you're having problem with, and I haven't posted the YouTube uh, video of that, you can put that information in the comments, and I will help you go through it. Um, Right now, I'm just going desktops. The next step will be uh, I'm gonna go uh, grab laptops and go one by one and show you how to do it. So, this is almost done. All right, you got to the main screen. Now, what you do is on the search column, you will need to type in window updates. All right, you click on check for updates. You click that and uh, check for updates and if there is any you will see a bunch of them uh, gonna come up there so let's wait and uh, show you it's almost there so oh well it has uh, quite a bit uh, updates that needs to be done so it will take about 20 30 minutes but um, the you will see the hard drive is installed right there so you're all good updates will take about 30 minutes so and when the update is over it's gonna ask you to um, restart your computer that way all of that will set up in place um, if you have any question regarding this computer or any other question, you can leave the comments below and I'm more than happy to get back to you. Please subscribe. I don't need to say that, you know, and the like, press the like button and um, we will see you in the next video. Thank you.